my brothers and sisters, yes and again, once again, your true Bishop L.J. Reed, right on your TV land once again, in your living room, automobile, or hotel room, or even wherever you may be, I'd just like to come in with the word of God once again to uh, our te television land, and before we get started, let's open with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you this evening, Lord, for each and every one that is listening and looking this evening, my Heavenly Father. We ask that you will continue to bless them, lead them and guide them in all directions. Ask that you would touch the one that is sick this evening, touch the one that is, is, is in jail and in prison, touch the one that is laying somewhere on a street corner, touch someone this evening, my Heavenly Father, that don't have a home to go to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, my brother and sister, once again, we would like to share the word of God with you this evening. And ask that you will continue to pray that God will still elevate me from one good degree to another. We want to talk about this evening. We want to start in the Amen book of Daniel. We want to uh, minister on Amen serving the true and living God. Uh, amen, and, and, and watch ourselves and not get caught up in serving other gods and pagan gods because it's easy to be done. Amen. And sometimes we make a mistake and do it in our wealth. Amen. But let's let, let's begin this evening. Uh, amen. In the book of Daniel. Uh, amen. We all know that Daniel was a servant of the Lord, and uh, and he was a a, a praying man. Amen. He, 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 he wrote his book while he was in captivity, amen. And we know that Daniel, amen, believed in God. And we want to look over to the third chapter of Daniel and the 11th verse. And it reads, And whosoever fall not down and worship that he should be cast into the midst of a burning for its furnace. There are certain Jews who thou has not, who thou has set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, king, have not regarded thee, nor serve, nor thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou has set up. Amen. These three. Amen. Men that was, amen, Jews that made up in their mind that they were going to serve the God Almighty. Amen. They weren't going to bow and worship no other gods. Amen. And, and, and sometimes we can get caught up, my brothers and sisters, and, and, and unaware of and worshiping out of God, unaware of. Let's look over into. Amen. The next verse, amen. Uh, uh, the verse uh, 15 and, and the B part of verse 15. Amen. And it says, and it began reading, Ye shall be cast into, into the same hour, into the midst of the burning forest furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? I just want to use for a thought to see them, my brother and sister, amen, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, amen, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is a deliverer. Amen. We have someone this seen and may be going through something in this land. Amen. I want you to know this scene and God still deliver folks out of turmoil, out of trouble. Amen. And out of sickness and out of all kind of disease. All you have to do, amen, just put your faith and trust in him. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 say, lead not to your own understanding, but all thy way acknowledge the Lord and he shall direct our path. Amen. Amen. And, and, and then, 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 then the king began to say, Amen. Amen. To Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. Uh, 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 they answered the king and, and let the king know, uh, 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 okay, we ain't got to be careful to answer you in this matter. Amen. We, we don't have to think about this thing that you uh, are saying that you're going to cast us into the 
Father, as fun as uh, 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 we already know what we're going to do. We're going to serve God Almighty, the one created the heaven and earth. So that is our answer. Cain began to get angry. Amen. I'm going to give you another chance when you hear the sound of the music, the harp, the flute, and all kind of music. If you fall down and worship this golden image that I have set up, amen, I will let you guys go. I will set y'all free. The three men said, no, you ain't got to worry about that, Cain. Just let us go, amen. We have made up in our mind that we serve a God that is able to deliver us. Amen. And letting you know this, who came, if he don't deliver us, we don't. We want you to know one thing: not because he is not able. Amen. He just don't want to. Amen. But we're gonna trust in him anyway. Amen. Uh, my mind kind of ran back and, amen, thought about on, amen, Moses in the thirty-second chapter, amen, of the book of Exodus when. Moses brought the children of Israel out of bondage, amen, and out of Egypt, amen. And when they got at the foot of the Mount of Sinai, amen, Moses left the children of Israel there to go up and commune with God, to talk with God. But while Moses was gone, my brother and sisters, amen, the devil eased in and began to talk to the children of Israel, amen, and believe it or not, the devil already was there, amen, the devil always going to be where the child of God is, you don't have to worry about looking for him because he's there, amen, whenever the church door is open, my brothers and sisters say them walk in, you don't worry about what's going on in the nightclubs, amen, and up and down the street, you worry about what this child of God doing, so when Moses went up to get the commandment, Amen. The devil eased in the people hard and began to talk to Nathan, and Nathan began to talk to Aaron and tell us, make us a God that we can see. Make us a God that we can look at. Amen. Amen. And Aaron, amen. Now, I believe my brother and sister that Aaron were weak itself. Amen. Because although, amen, Aaron should have known that Moses are my brother. Amen. Matter of fact, God sent Moses to me for me to be a spokesman for him. Amen. And Aaron should have been strong, I believe, in what he was. Amen. But he yelled to the people. And he told them to say, break off your earrings and your gold. And, and, and I'll make you this God. I'll make you this molten calf. After Aaron made the Isle of God, Amen. The mother calf, he went for the most to also make an altar for the calf, for the God. Amen. Amen. And then, amen, brother and sister, he tried to back up and put it on someone else. Amen. But we got to realize, amen, ain't no other God. Amen. Like Jehovah God. Amen. Ain't no other God like Yahweh. Amen. Ain't no other God. Amen. Like the God of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob. He is a deliverer. He is a God that will deliver you and I out of inner turmoil. Trouble. All we got to do is put our trust and our faith in him. He will bring us through. Amen. Reason why I know he will bring you through because, amen, he told Abraham in the 22nd chapter of Genesis, Abraham will have waited a long time. For his own son that come out his own horn. Amen. Although he had Ishmael, but amen. I, Isaac was a son of promise. Amen. And God had promised him a son. And when he got little Isaac, amen. He, God told Abraham, Now, Abraham, I want you to take this boy and uh, camp up on the Mount of Cameron. I want you to make a sacrifice there. Amen. Unto me. I imagine this might have been hard, must have been hard for Abraham, amen, waited all this time for this son and God tell him to take his son and sacrifice unto him, amen, but Abraham loved it, God, and I believe Abraham believed it, if God gave him one, he can give him another one. And they, you know the story how Abraham took his son, amen, and, and his helper and went on to the Mount of Sinai. 
Amen. And when Moses, when Abraham and Elijah climbed up the mountain by himself, I heard, Amen, the Isaac say, Father, I see the wood, Amen, and the fire, but what is the sacrifice? And I heard when Abraham answered his son, say, God will provide a sacrifice. Amen. I want you to know this evening, God is a deliverer of whatever you may be going through this evening. Amen. You may be going through all kinds of trouble, sickness, and diseases. Amen. He will deliver you out of your turmoil. Amen. Just like he delivered Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego out of the forest furnace. He will deliver you. Look at this king, Nebuchadnezzar. So his men, strong men. I want you to bound these men, time up, and throw them in that forest furnace. Not only that, but I want you to heat it up seven times more hotter than it was in the beginning. And these strong men, muscle men, Side of Shamrach, Meshach, uh, and Abednego. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, when they open up the thirty bars in, uh, the fire slew them uh, while they open the door. Uh, I just want to serve notice on you this evening. Uh, whenever you dig pit holes uh, for someone else, uh, don't forget uh, to dig one for yourself. Uh, Sometime, uh, the first hole you dig uh, be yours. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, and when they put them boys uh, in the forest furnace, uh, I heard this Nebuchadnezzar said, uh, Then we put three in them. Uh, but behold, uh, I see four of them uh, walking around uh, in them. Uh, and the fourth one uh, look like the Son of God. Uh, Satan uh, always uh, gonna recognize uh, a child of God. Uh, God uh, is a deliverer. Uh, God uh, will deliver you. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on uh, to God's unchanging hand. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this segment. We ask that you will continue to bless this station, bless this church, bless our people here and far. Look among our president around the world. We ask that you that bring us together where we can be helpful of one another. You are truly, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is